okay hello friends uh, today we are going to create a new database and uh, we are going to add or insert the table content or the values in the table which we are going to create so this is access so uh, this is a new database what we have created we are open now so we need to create a database table now first of all i'll create a data sheet view table name i go to the design view In design will give the table name say employee employee table click ok table is created now if they ask you to create a primary key for the, the id you can you know, I'll change the name here say em emp id uh, we'll take quarter number or no more i'll take a number here we need to change it to number then second field is if you want to remove the the primary key you can remove using this particular key remove the key you wanted to create a primary key for this emp id you provide the primary key for emp id second number is say emp name data type should be short text third field is emp address uh, for this uh, we will take long text fourth field will take emp sal the salary uh, we will take your number a uh, large number then we will take your one more type emp phone phone number uh, again you will take a large number uh, this is the content which we have added right now to our table employee we need to save this database type does not compatible with the earlier version of function again we still wanted to add data type yes we will add it so data types we are provided to individual field name and data type including the primary key or emp number now we have to add the content i will show you data sheet view in this view in this data sheet view we have to add the content not manually but by providing a query design so it is called as a query wizard or query design so using a query we need to add the content or the data for individual fields so how to do it so first of all we need to be in design view then go to create tab select query design query design when you click on query design it will uh, open a new prompt it will ask you to add the table employee table what we have given the name add and close it in this query type you have, we can able to view the overall content or the name of the table and what are the different types we have added to it now the further things what we have to do is we have to append the table uh, appending table it is a query type it will make a query add records to an existing table so this appending will add the records to the table name that is employee so when we are going to write a query this append will add all the records in all these fields current database yes it is a current database okay and then we need to go to the view and from view we have to select sql view sql view st structural query language it will help you to provide the query type so we need to add the data so what are the different data we have before that we have to remove this part we required insert into insert into what insert into table name table name is employee t and we know the fields employee id e name emp address emp sal and emp phone number so 
we are in query now so what content we have to add is em employee table the first part is emp id comma second is emp name comma third is emp address third is emp sal now we need to take a sal okay s is capital salary comma emp phone 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 number phone p is capital emp phone close the bracket enter this is the query where you're going to enter the data but what data we are going to enter so for that we have to provide the values for that values for the field name so how to add is command is or the query is values values opening bracket first emp id it's shown using number so we have to provide one comma we have taken number not auto number so number for that one if we take if this emp id data type is character or short text anything else so we need to provide the number into single inverted comma but right now our data type for this emp id is number then we don't have to write it into single inverted comma it will be written as it is one comma second is emp name it is a short text that is a character data type so we have to write it inside the single inverted comma single inverted comma name i'll write uh, large comma then it is asking for emp address so address should be written into single inverted comma say dadar single inverted comma complete comma it is asking for emp salary so salary should be say 4000 i have written say 40000 comma employee sal then emp phone number so phone number is say 9821826823 and complete the bracket and at the end of this query we have to write the semicolon as we have completed with our query I'll type here magnifier so this is the query what I have written insert into employee it will be shown as it is the remaining query we have to remove emp id comma emp name comma emp address emp cell emp phone number these are nothing but our field name and to add the values for field name emp id is number so number is written as it is and remaining all data that is a character type or short text or long text should be written inside the single inverted comma the number should be written as it is without single inverted comma okay then what we have to do is select whole query and go to design part click on design tab and click on run when you click on run employee is already open okay so what we have to do is go to the employee close this table and again select the query go to the design part click on run uh, the insert into statement contain the following unknown field name a and b okay uh, the spelling mistake has been done over here spelling mistake uh, the spelling mistake is what we have done is it's emp so we have written amp so emp sal select it go to the run click on run it will give you prompt that is you are about to append one row click yes again we have to go 
to our employee table you can see the table has been appended with the content again i'll show you with the magnifier view the magnifier view is what we have to do is go to the query how we have done it i'll show you again i have created only this, this particular part go to the query query is available select the query so this we have to add new data so change the data to i'll change the name to say it should be written in single inverted comma remain in mind character should be written single inverted comma that is short text long text all the things number should be should not be written inside single inverted comma so the name say um, Ash, uh, the destination should be the other. Uh, we will change the number here. Um, three, four, five, four, three, two. Uh, salary increase the salary for Ash. Say fifty thousand. Now what we have to do is select the query. Go to the design view and what we have to do is run the query it will give you the prompt you are about to append the row yes what we will do is go to the employee table if you see the data is not there what we will do go to the refresh all and you can see the data is added using a query I hope you understand how to add the data using a design using a query design not manually but using a query design I hope you understand I'll give you a new video within some time period uh, enjoy